What's happening guys, Dan here, uh, DD Speed Shop. Car looks a little different. So, <laughs> for those of you following around, we've been doing lots and lots of work on this. Well, the way the video comes out, um, I hate to, to uh, you know, show you how the sauce is just made, but I have to do the videos first and then upload them. So I'm actually a little bit ahead. And uh, I put a video up and the throat bearing was wrong on this thing, so I had to take it all apart and all that stuff. Anyways, the last few videos had happened without me knowing the throat bearing was apart. So that's why the car looks different versus the last video. So I had actually started the video we're currently gonna be doing. Man, you're really getting the inside baseball here. And I found out halfway through filming that I had made a mistake, so now we're going backwards. So the plan to, to, for today's video was actually to hook up the clutch linkage to the wrong throw bearing. But at the time, I didn't know it was wrong. So actually, it all kind of worked out in the end. Um, so the plan was that and tackle the exhaust. Actually, this is yet another video. I thought I was going to do the exhaust. And I keep pushing it back. We're finally maybe going to get there. So I had actually started working on the exhaust. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to put some clips in there. I know I did some welding. This uh, kind of front or intermediate pipe was originally an H pipe, which I decided to cut out and make just two individual pipes. And then I made some collector uh, to work with what we got going on. So after this, we'll, we'll click to me making those. So that'll be sweet. Otherwise, obviously the thing is all apart. So at this point now, I've taken all the clutch linkage out that was in. So, uh, we're going to work on that. I think we're going to put the clutch linkage in. Then, I think we'd probably put the front clip back on again. I feel confident. You want to chance it? I mean, what are we going to do? Comes off again. I'm, I'm really good at taking this thing apart when I screw up. It's the bread and butter of DD Speed Shop. That's, that's the trick here. If you guys ever want to start a YouTube channel, you just do everything, but if you do it wrong and you got to do it twice, twice many videos. There you go, it's all about watch minutes. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and swipe right, make these real quick. Then we'll come back and we'll put the clutch linkage in. Um, I have, so the transmission, the motor transmission are in, but they're not quite hooked up. The transmission is sitting on the mount. The linkage uh, for, this, for the shifter and all, it's just kind of hanging. So I gotta get that all put together. So it's a lot of backtracking. So I gotta do, we'll just kind of, you know, dance through that real quick, but I do want the front clip back on because honestly, it's so motivational having this thing look like a car. And, uh, you know, I still, my pride hurts a little bit. So I want to make it look like it never even happened. But honestly, we're going to just, you know, we lose one day, jam hard, and uh, work till midnight. We'll be back to exactly where we were yesterday, what we thought we were yesterday. Because really, it was screwed up yesterday too. We just didn't know it. But that's, you know, the power of the internet. So we'll get the clutch going, and uh, I mean, I, I was screwing around, the linkage wasn't really working out, but I hadn't gotten far enough yet to understand I had made a mistake yet. Luckily, you guys did in the comment section. So thank you, comments. Um, yeah, enjoy me welding that. It's like the past. <laughs>
Wow, look at all that welding we just did. <laughs> so now I'm gonna. Amazing. It's all done. Do do do. So now we gotta put this clutch deal in, which is actually, I gotta say, it's gonna be easier to show you what I was doing uh, with everything apart. So this is the Z-bar, which will fit kind of something like that. So we gotta jam it against the motor, slide this down on this little bracket, and then this is our adjustment for the clutch. So as you step on the clutch, it will push this back and operate the clutch. So we'll just go ahead, and this is a, yeah, this adjusts basically just like a brake, uh, a brake rod wood or something like that. So we'll put it in to start. And then I do got to kind of bamboozle this thing in. It is kind of supposed to be in a few pieces. And it's a little bit of a, oh, maybe it's not that bad. Headers, headers are stupid. Okay, oh, that actually went not too bad. So that's on there. So this is not, what are we caught on? A little bit of everything. Oh, there we go. And okay, so we got that on, but actually this has a little grease dust seal, I believe. So we'll put that on first, then that. Then actually I should get a lock nut, or at least a washer. We'll put that on there. That is what's holding that all happy. Now this can go on. I need actually I have a little locking. Where'd I put it? Entertain them while I'm looking for stuff. Do a dance or something. I just had the piece. Oh here it is. Found it. My sandals once again. Oh Lord. So we're gonna use one of these style clips. Which kind of fit in. It's a bit of a loose fit, actually. Anyways, we'll deal with that later. So now, in theory, I should be able to have this. So if I push this all the way back, that means the clutch pedal would be at the top of its travel. I'll thread this in. So now if you want to come around maybe this side, I don't know if it'll show or not, but this is the rod right here. Oh, it's pretty dark and hard to see in there, but we're going to adjust it out. And you want it so there's a little bit of play. So that's too much. You don't want that adjusted so there's load on the throw-up bearings. So you want to kind of, you know, play with it a little bit, whatever, kind of till it kind of touches, maybe back it off a little bit. I'll show you how the pedal should be um, in the car, but I'm going to go ahead and adjust this real quick just so everybody's happy, mostly me. You're happy? Well, I will say that, you know what? This, uh, this linkage, it fits a lot better when the bearing is in the proper location. Who would have thought? So, how's that? That should probably be pretty close to in the ballpark. Now, if we come around here, so the clutch pedal is just down a little bit from the brake, which is kind of common. And so we have actually a fair bit of play before it starts doing anything. So that's where we're actually grabbing the clutch. So we need to put more adjustment in and then uh, we'll lock her all down. We should be, should be good. Hopefully we're good. This you can kind of play with a little bit. This is where a lot of guys like the hydraulic. Throw a bearing. Guy. That's probably getting close. I got a big spring on this, which I probably should have put the spring on after the fact, but it's a big return spring. I may have to take it off if I can't thread through it. Yeah, it feels like it's getting close. I may have to take that part so I can kind of do by hand, but hopefully we've adjusted it some. Yeah, so now right here is where it's starting to grab. So that's not terrible. And then right there's where you really feel it. And that's the clutch going all the way in. So I'll probably put a little bit more in it. And we should be fine. And hopefully 
I want to take it apart again. Watch where you're standing. This actually does have a place you put a wrench on it too, so I could just do that, but we should be pretty much good. And I think we're gonna be almost right in the middle-ish of the adjustment, so we should be fine. The, uh, it was a gamble on this. I just put like a miscellaneous kind of shift rod in it or a pivot point. Oh yeah, see now we're, we're almost right there. That's where you start to feel the clutch come in. So we'll do it so you probably just have like a little bit of play and then that's where the clutch is gonna be. I can feel it right there. So that's where it'll be releasing and that's where it's all the way kind of over centered or whatever you wanna call it. So another turn or two, we'll lock that in, but that's, that's pretty much fine. And uh, ultimately, I mean, you can adjust it as you're driving what suits you, but it just you don't want the throw up bearing riding on the uh, on the clutch and stuff like that. You want it to have that little bit of free air space. Okay, I think we'll take a mental checklist here before we put everything back together because it is quite nice to work like this. I think I might put the shift rods back in just because they're all just hanging. So I'll do that right quick on my own because you just watched me do that. I think I did it right the first time. Every now and again, I do it right the first time. Okay, it's a new day. Man, I got a brand new shop shirt on, look at that. And, uh, oh, Danny bought me a hat. Well, everybody hats. Just gotta go on the website and get them. They're pretty badass. Anywho, what was I gonna say there? Oh, yeah. So the, uh, you know, the table between my legs sting from the last couple days, well, yesterday, has gone. And now right back to cobbling stuff back together. I feel like, you know, we all make mistakes and I, and I do feel like I have more wins than losses, marginally. So we're working on this thing. Uh, on the way home from work today, I stopped by the old bolt supply. I got proper bolts so the motor is in um, properly. This one, you know what, probably should have gone in that way, but you know what, that's the next guy's problem. I put on a fuel pump just because that's kind of hard to get to with everything all together. Uh, upcoming video, probably the next one or one after, uh, we'll be doing, you have to change the intake manifold, put the starter in. I have a water pump, see what we have for pulleys. Uh, I don't know if I have an alternator. I might just have one. I don't know. I got stuff. Uh, measure for a belt, all that. I have distributor, I have plug wires coming. I like to kind of get the motor dressed up. So we'll do that. Pretty easy to do, but, but the uh, motor mount bolts and, the, and this is kind of easier to do there. I tried to bend this and of course kinked it. So there you go. I have some wins, I have some losses, but uh, ultimately fuel in, then we have to build a little line up to the carburetor. But what we're gonna do to finish this off today, I've gotta to get the exhaust. And I've said the exhaust 50 times over. I'm sick of it. I just gotta do it. So we're gonna jack this thing up, get started on the exhaust. Well, get started and finish the exhaust. Then I wanna weld around the shifter because now that's all dialed together. I don't know if I showed you guys yesterday or not, but it's working just like absolute butter. Oh, that's so friggin' cool. And then the clutch, that's about how much play we have. And then it, you can really feel right about there. Starts getting. Starts getting heavy. I ordered e-brake cables, get that all dialed together. I ordered a windshield for it. I ordered a wiper motor for it. Like this thing is gonna be legit. It's expensive, but legit. So let's get this thing up in the air. We'll start playing with this exhaust and just see where everything kind of wants to be. These back pipes should just slide on. So I'll get those up in there and get a light maybe. Get to work. Ugh. Okay, everyone was panicked. About the drive shaft, how it was kind of stiff going in. So we'll put that in first and I'll just show you. You know, you hammer one drive shaft in and people just think you're a hack forever. Uh, okay, get this lined up. Okay, so it's on and look at this. Whoop, all the way in, no issues. Okay, so that's, there you go, internet. Just making you guys happy. One person at a time. Oh, I got a bit of a rip in my pants there, so hopefully you're not getting a free show. What what have I got going on now? Does this have to go in a little further? What what have I done? What the hang it? Oh, there we go. If I pull it back. Yep. Oh yeah, okay. So I'll just zip these end caps on. Oh no, don't lose them bearings. Don't lose them, there we go. Get that on, and there you go. Well, that ain't going anywhere. 
the short term, you know, yeah, I think we have the uh, straps. You know, let's put those on right quick. Just finger tight so I don't lose them or roll over them. Okay, that's in, hopefully semi-permanently. It still needs paint, you know, with all the, all the time I had, you think I could have just painted that thing? Yeah, maybe next time. Next time it comes out when the bearing has to come out again. <laughs> Okay, that's in there now. Ugh. I took one muffler off. So this has to go back in. Now these mufflers are uh, offset. So they do say inlet one's gonna be kind of facing upwards and one's facing downwards, but we'll put this on. So it does get kind of tight here in a hurry, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we got that on there. I will say when I put this exhaust on originally, I probably should have had drive shaft and all that kind of figured out. Okay. So I should probably support that somehow. Is this one got? Oh yeah, that one still has the clamp in it. So it's got miscellaneous muffler clamps. I'm sure I talked about it in the last couple of video or last video, the last exhaust video, which is probably three weeks ago at this point, it feels like, but just kind of give her a little support. And like I said, that H pipe, I just cut it out just because I think it's going to make my life a scotch easier. So now, these go on. I believe they went kind of like that and then they kicked out. So we'll put them in that way. Up and in. Who would have thought? A CNC bent exhaust pipe. What a concept. What a world we live in. What a time to be alive. Get that knocked in. That's one. So I think my plan is, if I can get this all um, just kind of snugged up and held in there, then we can get everything attached. I'll make my front pipes, then come back and completely tighten everything. This muffler seems like it might be a little further ahead. I don't know if that's how this exhaust is or what. Okay, so honestly, that's pretty good. Really good. We got lots of room here. You know what? I'll show you guys. So before, the front pipe where it was, it was really, really close. and It, was, it didn't give you any amount of maneuverability. Let's see if we can kind of widen this out. Widen that out just a hair, which is good because my concern was right here. These mufflers were just absolutely almost touching. So we can kind of just push that over. Just, I mean, a half inch is all you really need. And then uh, up there, where that kind of kicks out, you can see the hole of the collector. So we just gotta join them. I'll be doing that from the front side. But I think, I hope, ugh, pretty damn close. So, should be able to get that dialed and then back here. I mean, this is all loose, but you can see it's it's almost still just right centered where we want. It's touching the, the hanger, but everything is loose. So we give it a quick knock over and an impact. This exhaust will be dialed. It's exciting stuff. I'll get this tightened up right quick. I'll meet you on the front half, long walk, and we'll see if we can start cobbling together uh, the collector, front pipe, whatever you want to call it. And again, this thing is all going to be slip fit. So Nothing's welded in theory. I mean, it's a little tight taking apart, but you could loosen up the U-clamps and uh, bang this thing apart. Uh, so, I've got the exhaust kind of placed, pieced together at the front here. It's a little tricky, but I've got it run up. I had a ratchet strap to kind of hold it. Now it's kind of loose. I have our collector on there. So you can see that it's all dialed. There's a very small gap we have to jump there. So we'll be cutting this pipe down. I mean, quite a bit. It'll just be kind of something like that. The other side, uh, I actually had to do some screwing around on just because of the headers we have. And this is where that front pipe becomes a bit of a hassle. Um, if you look, so I had to really chop up the collector on this side, but see how much higher it is? Like mm -hmm. it's half above the frame. I'm actually not talking to you. I'm I realized that, but I'm just <laughs> agreeing that it's higher. So, 
So it being higher, we got a little rubby right here with the uh, transmission cross member. Mm -hmm. So I had to bring it back and drop it down to two and a half right out of the collector. Thanks, Danielle. And then we'll just join those two. This one has to be supported up a little and probably twisted. So that's what's next. But all back here, we're all good. Nothing is rubbing. We got lots of airspace. You know, the tailpipes are gonna I mean, it's tight, but it works. So I'll put a new zip disc on the other pipe. It'll just be a bunch of kind of test fitting. I guess some people might, might measure it. What's happening here? <laughs> just keep talking. Are you showing up a new hat? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Or are you making, are you making fun of me? <laughs> okay, so let's get some tools. We'll get that slid in, and once that slip fits in, it's just clamp, 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 clamp. I got my tool. <laughs> I hope the grinder doesn't slip. <laughs> You're the one that was like, spend more time out here with me. No, I said hold the camera. Yeah. You interpret that wrong. I don't know. I do. Maybe. So what are you doing? You're cutting. Then. Yeah, I gotta get geared up here. We'll we'll be right back after these messages. So now you could probably get like a protractor and all sorts of things here to try and make this fit. But what I'm gonna do is blindly cut it and hope for the best. Now, if we were on, unfortunately, there's a brace that runs right under it. If it was open underneath, like a four-post lift or a two-post, all I would do is just put the pipe exactly where I wanted it underneath. Mark, mark, cut, and it'd be pretty close. But we don't have that option. So we're gonna guess, and if it's too short, we'll just weld it back off. together. <laughs> what? Yeah. This is a way of getting the job done. This is a way, and not only that, it's the way that I'm gonna do it. So, I mean, you could, again, if I had a little more. You want me to do it? I'm little. I think that's what we need right there. So I will cut it right on this spot. This little mark that was already in it. Oh, the old cutting knee. And I'll use my workbench. See so if we're in the ballpark. I'm thinking we're gonna nail this first friggin' shot. So about where my index finger is. shirt. Whew. Felt that one. cut <laughs> no one's gonna know that. the best part is i have a thousand dollar chop saw we could have used <laughs> but that was way over there this is way more convenient i think that should fit so now we can just zip this this guy out real quick actually in that uh, box there on the chair maybe or beside the chair there should be a box with some gaskets in it i'll grab that yeah that's him this all fits together we'll just gasket her up and it'll be like a a done friggin job here 
Oh, I dropped the nut. You want me to get your nut for you? Which side? The, the bad side, right? They're kind of both bad. No. <laughs> Thanks. I get this in there. Well, I might need a little more. I might need a touch up. Your approved footwear out here is not great. Just so you know. This actually doesn't feel bad. Why won't it slip in there? Uh, uh. Maybe a, I need a hammer situation. Why? Why, Danielle? What's it caught on? I don't know, Danielle. Um, yeah, we have a hammer. Oh. That blue one will do. Something is just not copacetic here. At all. There we go. She just needed a little, little motivation. A little yeah, a little kiss. A kiss with the hammer. Oh, that's not bad right there. We have to take just a little bit more off, but we might be able to schwag skew. What? what are you doing over there? Filming! Oh. You're weirding me out. Okay. What's weirding you out? You! Why? I don't know, you're just... You're weirding me out. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That will work just nicely. So we gotta give it a, a little bend or a little. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Look at that, you seeing this? Yeah. So nut and bolt will hold that into place a little bit or it's kind of jammed or something or whatever, but. I'll, uh, yeah, let's put some hardware in there and see what happens. I'll suffer through that on my own. Let's come back and show them the finished product. It's like power block TV here. Skip all the hard work. Honestly, it's, I got it in there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use some butt crack. Probably better what am I looking at here? The exhaust. Oh, it's all hooked up and ready to go. Look at that. So that's all in there. Now, it's hanging a little low, but what we can do, I mean, nothing is clamped, nothing's gonna fall out, but we can twist it, which will bring it up or down or whatever we want. I mean, the CNC bent pipe, it's, it fits right around the floor. It's pretty, pretty friggin' trick, but I think that'll be a thousand times easier with it on the jack stance, and I can lie my back under it and kind of move everything around. So it's, it's on there for now, it's good, but uh, still needs a little bit of fine tuning. Somebody broke my light. Somebody? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Could have been the frustration over the last couple days. Um, so we got that. I think now, should we work on the trans tunnel? Or are you gonna put the front clip on? No, you're not giving me anything. I'll, uh, let's weld that trans tunnel and it'll be terrible. But I'll just do that right quick while you go on TikToks. Anti-American. And then, uh, Slot the front clip on this thing, and then that's it for today, because I have had enough. It's it's stressful. But then we start uh, taking the motor all apart. What are you doing there? My hair? It's head and shoulders. No. Is that what I use? No. What's the, the girl that moans in the tub? Herbal essence. That's what I have. Okay, let's drop this thing down. Let's make a tunnel. So I want to make a little template here because the shifter sticks out. So I need the floor to kind of V out and then over, which will give it a bit of a weird shape. So I thought maybe I could try to make a, you know, a little, little stencily template thing that I can then transfer to steel. It'd be nice if I could do it in kind of one piece or two pieces or four pieces or we'll see how it goes. But I don't have any thin cardboard, unfortunately. So we want that to 
about, what do we want? About there maybe? So if I cut this out, then I need a couple of triangle pieces on the side. They can kind of join up for what I'm doing. So you know what, if I just tape this right to the shifter, it'll kind of hold it, then I'll be able to, cheap Canadian tire tape. Scotch, dude, name brand, 3M, worth a piece. So let's just see if we can blast through this right quick. See kind of what we end up with. So here's what I built. Basically, it'll just kind of do something like that, straight up and then over. And I might have to trim it down a little or we can put this a little lower, I'm not really too sure. And we'll leave that all open. I do still have to trim a little bit out. You can see the rod is just barely touching the floor. So I got to kind of just skim that over. Yeah, you can see it actually moves the floor when we shift. So we got to get that taken care of in this this little adjuster bolt is just right touching. So we gotta go a little bit bigger. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just do, I mean, a little flat piece, a fat, flat piece across there. We'll just weld it in. We're just gonna, you know, buzz it in there. It doesn't have to be crazy or nothing like that. A little bit of seam sealer, and then the carpet will cover it. And they'll have a place for a boot to kind of go on. I was thinking about going higher, but I don't know. I think this will be fine. Now what we're gonna do is we'll take this, we can kind of unfold it. Trace it out on a piece of steel, cut it, put it on the brake, and, and that's about it. Once it's once it's kind of got its shape, then we can mess with it, trim it, go from there. But cardboard or steel? CAD. Do I have any steel? So there's our piece. Pretty simple. Go with something like that, huh? Not bad. I uh, trimmed out a little bit there, so that's all good. I got this piece. That should slide right in there so we'll set the camera up and we'll be boxed in there boxed in there perfect Okay, we're all dialed together. Um, I, so I did this little welding job here. And, uh, oh, we have the light. The one that you broke? Mer's light. I didn't break it. So you can just like boot up. This thing's got, uh, look at this, you can change the, the brightness levels. You can change the, what kind of light do you want? Ooh, warm. Um, so anyways, we got, ah. We got this little kind of piece I bent up in there, while it up top, just give it some seam seal that's in there. So everything is clear, no issues. That's not gonna be the way of your leg? There's not a whole, no, my legs are up here. There's not a whole lot of options. I mean, I, unless I leave it open, but I wanted it, uh, you know, and it's only got, I mean, I can fit my finger between the shifter and the thing. So it's kind of just the way she's gonna be. As also, far as, I don't know what you were pointing that light at, but it wasn't anything we could see. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. A little better. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not all there. Yesterday was a rough day. People on Facebook are commenting at me, giving attitude. Okay. It's always something. I'm letting it get to me. I shouldn't. I'm going to stop reading comments. Let's put this sucker together. Is this bolted in somewhat? One bolt? 
And the bolts are in it. Oh yeah, we're man. Oh, I need the bushings. These? Yeah, I mean, there should be two of them. Mm-hmm. Make sure you put them shiny side down. We don't want to take it all apart. You nailed it. Wait. You did good. You did good. That's how it should be. So now we gotta lig these up. What's going on here? Gentle, gentle. There we go. That's how it seemed like to follow the place. There we go. Oh yeah, I stored the bolts in it. Can you just kind of hold that from tipping into my dome? Oh, free nut. We'll lose that for later. Here, I'll, I'll just get it started. Get started losing it? <laughs> Thank you. Quite the teamwork we have today. Uh, are you, you're, it's like you're on team internet today. Where's team Dan? I'm always on team Dan. Is this backward? What? <laughs> Stay on the other side, team internet. I don't need you. I need anybody. Oh, I need everybody. I'm pretty sensitive. I just look big and well. I am a little on the portly side, but gentle. Oops. There we go. Nailed it. Okay, so that's good. So now we think the fenders will just. Fall into place. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's hardware on the on the hardware uh, hardware chair. We'll call it. Hardware, you need. I need the shorty five sixteenths bolts. Do you know what that means? Is that these? Probably. Are they five sixteenths shorty bolts? They're short. How do I know it's five sixteenths? It doesn't say anything on it. Well, it'll look like a five sixteenths and not. A three eighths. Well, I don't know what either of those looks like. So, well, should I go ask the internet for help here? Probably. Yeah, that's probably them. Just two of them. I think that's almost all five sixteenths there. I'm gonna start them up. Oh, whoa, whoa! Gentle on the paint. Where's the hole? Right there. You're nailing it. A lot of people were telling me, "Why'd you take the front end off? You pulled the motor out. That just seems stupid." It'd be way easier just to pluck it out, and I thought, I don't know, it was eight bolts. <laughs> but look at all the room we have without it. It's kind of the way I look at it too, but the, you know what it is? We're gonna get off topic here for a second, but people eight on. Bolts? <laughs> oh, I don't think we're done. We gotta do the other side. People on the internet, they get so scared of taking stuff apart. Like, you know, like the, uh, you know, like, like not that we're into it, but like fancy cars, you gotta like pull the motor out for like belt services and stuff like that, like Ferraris and some some model. people. Oh no, pull the motor out, what's the big deal? Well, I need that gold bolt moved and whatever's there, just leave the shims stacked up. At the other day, it's just nuts and bolts. Don't scrape it across there. The perfect paint. Well, this is gonna be a hassle. Oops. Whoopsie. I don't know if I pulled this out enough. This fender bolt's a real, it's a real internet. Yeah. Oh, came close. Except I knocked all the shims out of place. Oh, the sound of success and scratched paint. Oh, come on. This one's got a lot of shimmies in it. Okay, that one's dialed. Is that gonna line up? Nope. What do you mean? There. Sometimes you gotta put a little effort into it. You can't just throw the tools at it. You might want a little lotion on your fingers there too, since they're on the internet. My hands look prettier than yours. You're not Where's showing them. Oh. Mine's lined yeah. up. Oh, I wasn't showing anything. They are dragon paws. Hey, hey, 
Hey, oh, sorry. be nice to my hands. You're showing me, eh? Are we almost done here? Okay. Nailed it. Um, what are the other bits? So lower bit and upper bit. Oh, here's the lower bit. This one was terrible to put in. Just a hassle. I call this one Danielle. I need some more, some more hardware. Just uh, bolts with washers. Something good at this. Kind of fired in there. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay. Really, we should have we should have left all this on. Just tried to pluck the motor. Especially when we had so little clearance. <laughs> well, yeah, we kind of. I mean, that's the thing. We cheated on certain things. So we pulled the front clip off. And this is just just give me. We couldn't. Uh, being on the hoist kind of affected things. The motor had to come straight out. I need more than that. I need four more. Do, 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 do. So, man, this thing is, I'm really hoping this, this is, I, well, I said it last time, I think it was the last time it was coming apart, but now I actually kind of mean it. You know what I mean? Also, I got a set of Krager wheels for this thing, or I got a set of Krager wheels. You think I should put them on the front of this? Oh, two. two. Probably. Internet, we're past our anger with each other. We all make mistakes. Now my next mistake will be putting a set of Craig wheels in the front and Steely's in the back. Honestly, I'm doing it selfishly. That one's not going in. Because I want to keep, I just want one, one at a time. Because I want to keep the uh, dog dish caps on the project, so. You know, ow, ow. Uh, metal splinter, none of these are going in here. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, there we go. Almost had to be a problem for future Dan there. Okay, we get this dialed. We get the top piece on. That one we need. Those are bolts and washers and nuts, sorry. No, I need small guys. The small boys. You mean these, these washers? Nuts? There's no washers, eh? For that, I guess. Well, there's one there. There's right. one there. Okay, Need another one. Perfecto. We'll just get this started, and I'll I'll impact her all together on my own time. At least it'll all make sure everything still fits. That's all that really matters. Those aren't even the same nuts. They're all miscellaneous you got there. Whoop. You know, we're gonna have to do a nut and bolt training class here. How are you supposed to be a lady hotter? Those glasses ain't thick enough, I think it's a problem. I need another nut this size. Do we have one or not? If not, we'll just put it as a mental note that we'll come, we'll come back and do it. I promise. And, okay, you want to put that in there? You are team internet. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to work on my own stuff by myself. Okay. You invited me out? Like a sucker. So there we have it. She's all back together. Exactly how it was before, except now the clutch works. Shifter is dialed. Exhaust is pretty much run. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do next, I have to change the intake manifold because I gotta give it back to Cecil, it's on loan. So we'll peel that off, put that in a box, give that back to him. Then we can do like that, carburetor. Um, I think I have some pulleys. I have a water pump that delivered today, it's inside. Put that on. Um, we have rad hoses, I bought some rad hoses. Get the radiator where we want it. Get that all dialed together. We gotta go through the front end, just cotter pin everything. But like realistically, we should be able to motor dial together 
next video. And at that point, I mean, it should we should be able to hotwire it and have it run. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. As always, tell me what I did exactly 180% wrong or 180 out, and we'll just redo it next video. So. A lot of people thought you faked it. You can't fake stupidity. They thought that you faked it and then off camera had fixed it. Everybody was saying you did it just to get comments. Nope. <laughs> I wish, wish I was that smart. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Please subscribe below. Check out Danny's hats on her website. DD's And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>